Hey everybody, welcome back to another Max Velocity Weather Forecast, and today what we're going over is the tropics. We have Hurricane Danielle and Tropical Storm Earl, which Tropical Storm Earl is forecasted to now become our first major hurricane of the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season. I'm going to give you the latest breakdown and everything that you need to know in this forecast. Let's first start out with Tropical Storm Earl. As of right now, it's just north of Puerto Rico. It is producing very heavy rains, flooding rains even to some areas like the Virgin Islands, and as well as along with Puerto Rico is beginning to see more of that rainfall, especially in the northern portion of the island. As of right now, you can see it actually looks like a pretty decent tropical storm as of right now. Sustained winds right now are at about 50 miles per hour, but it is expected to rapidly intensify as it starts to shift its direction back out to the north. As of right now, pressure is just under 1,000, moving northwest at about 3 miles per hour. But again, it's going to start to pick up some speed and eventually likely become our first major hurricane of the 2022 season. More on that in just a moment. We also have ongoing Hurricane Danielle up in the northern Atlantic Ocean. This one's going to be something to watch because it's probably going to hit Europe uh, over the next probably 7 to 10 days or so. It is forecasted to really pick up speed in the next couple of days. As of right now, it's only moving about 2 miles per hour off to the west, but it is again expected to really quickly start to move off to the north and northeast. Uh, pressure right now is at about 983. Storm is currently producing 80 mile per hour damaging winds now. It's going to continue to move off to the northeast and eventually most likely weaken to a tropical storm, but it's most likely going to hit the United Kingdom or somewhere in Europe. So this will be a system to watch very closely for as well. Here's a closer look at ongoing Tropical Storm Earl. This is an insane system right now. There is so much convection. It is incredible what we're seeing out of this tropical storm, even with it only having 50 mile per hour winds. There's just a very deep amount of convection with this. It's, it's pretty impressive, but this storm again is moving very slowly to the northwest. A lot of storm activity, a lot of flooding rains, and that is really anywhere in the basically northern uh, Virgin Islands, as well as even just east of Puerto Rico. We're seeing a lot of heavy rain. That's going to accumulate to some flooding potential in those areas, unfortunately, as it moves very slowly off to the northwest. Again, it's going to start to take a turn, most likely in the next couple of days, and start to pick up speed. Here's the National Hurricane Center's track as of right now. It is forecast to become a hurricane no later, it seems like, than Tuesday. Then eventually, by as early as Friday, this could become a Category 3 hurricane as it gets closer to Bermuda. So I'll have to watch this one very closely. Again, sustained winds are forecast to be near 115 to 120 miles per hour by Friday. So it's going to pick up an insane amount intensity over the next several days this again will be a system to watch for very closely as it moves off to the north and here's a look at the spaghetti models basically indicating where the system is likely to go over the next several days most computer models are keeping this just to the east of bermuda that is very good news now if it goes any further west we could potentially see some impacts to potentially bermuda in terms of maybe some storm surge maybe some damaging winds and as well as maybe even some flooding but as of right now it is forecasted to stay off to the east of bermuda Here's a look at the overall intensity guide with most computer models. Almost every single one is bringing it now to a Category 3 hurricane, so that's what's at least expected at this time. Things could change, obviously, but most computer models are bringing this to a Category 3 as it enters a very favorable environment as it moves off to the north. Here's a look at ongoing Hurricane Danielle. This is a system that has also been being watched very closely for those in Europe. This system has a very tight circulation. We're definitely seeing it strengthen. Again, pressure is just under 985 now, so again, it is intensifying as it moves slowly off to the north. Now, luckily, it is forecasted to start to weaken before it ever gets to the United Kingdom, but it will likely bring still some tropical storm impacts, and it will become subtropical most likely by Thursday night or Friday. As of right now, it is expected to stay as a hurricane over the next several days. Again, it will start to weaken most likely going to as well as Wednesday into Thursday, and eventually, it will eventually go probably towards areas like the United Kingdom or maybe even Europe. So this, again, will be a system to watch for very closely. Again, most computer models keeping it at a Category 1 hurricane, maybe briefly a Category Category 2, but other than that, it's going to drop back down to a tropical storm, most likely in about three to four days or so. Here's a look at the computer models, where it's going as of right now. Again, most computer models are bringing this basically directly towards the United Kingdom, so those in the United Kingdom might have to be starting to prepare for this one, but again, it's still five to seven days out. Many things could change between now and then. Again, we'll keep you updated with the latest on everything that you need to know. Make sure to like button down below, subscribe if you're not already. This forecast is brought to my Platinum Contracting and All Dents Repair.